Hey everyone, my name is Andrew, and I've been working with Carbon Fiber for over five years now. I've had students from every continent take my online training. Right now, I'm in the middle of producing another full carbon part. But today, let's talk about skinning. I often come across videos where people are doing skinning with a lot of mistakes. I want to run an experiment on this part, we'll try skinning using the methods shown in those internet videos. By the way, many of my students used to work like that before taking my course, and they definitely weren't happy with the result. Let's start by disassembling the part and getting the piece we'll be working on. In most of the videos, the general idea of the method is this. They take a part, glue the carbon fabric on with spray adhesive, and then apply epoxy resin over it. We'll measure the part to determine the fabric size we need. I always cut the fabric with 5 cm larger than the part on all sides. Now we take P80 abrasive and sand the surface of the part. A lot of videos skip even this step. We degrease and dust off the part. Alright, let's go. We apply the spray glue and lay the carbon fabric onto the part. We'll make some cuts around the holes to better drape the carbon. The fabric is in place. Now we mix the epoxy resin according to the instructions. My ratio is 100 to 30.
we thoroughly saturate the fabric. The first layer is dry, moving on to the second one. Following the online method, we apply the third and final layer and leave the part overnight. Fourteen hours later, what do we see? Three layers of epoxy clearly aren't enough. The fabric texture is still very visible. But here's a little life hack, this is how you create a dry carbon pattern. Carefully saturate the fabric without pouring on the resin or making puddles, and you'll get a textured look. But that's not the point right now. Let's check the perimeter of the part. We can see the fabric is well bonded to the surface, and the resin has soaked in nicely. It looks almost perfect and easy but I've seen many parts like this before. Let's prove how important the prep work and adhesion layer are. Time to delaminate. And it's done. The experiment was a success. We can see that the resin did soak into the fabric and even grab the surface in some places, but it definitely wasn't enough. That reminds me of one of my students' reviews. He followed the proper steps at the beginning and at about this stage decided to redo everything and delaminate. He had some real issues. Now let's check out the list of lessons in my basic carbon lamination course on my website. And we'll go through all these steps with this same part. Part preparation. First, we'll remove the chrome layer using ferric chloride. You might wonder why I didn't do that before the experiment, but trust me, the result would have been the same. We'll mask off the area with paper tape and set the part up on a jig for easier handling. Adhesion layer. We've prepared and applied a special bonding mix. Fabric gluing. Applying all layers of resin. Roughing work. Preparation for clear coating. Clear coating and final result.
So, if you follow the steps in my video tutorials one by one, you're guaranteed to get predictable results. And if any questions come up during your work, you'll get answers through our support chat. So join us, wishing you all high-quality carbon fiber lamination. By the way, the full video of the work on this part is also included as the 10th lesson in the course.